lava path. Who does this? I thought it was a union thing.
blocked.
we go. This isn't home. for this mess. I hope you got an inheritance coming. This is one of them for the rest of your natural born life type debts right here. I, uh, I really didn't mean to blow up your porch and whatever this room is supposed to be. I, I just came here to talk. My name's Jack. It's called a parlor, Jack, where you entertain guests. Would have done anyway, had I any actual burning desire to ever have guests. I need some coffee in here. I'm gonna box your ears. I swear. You want any? That'd be great. I really am sorry. I wish none of this had happened. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. What's a horse? I don't know. Never seen one. Died out in the early parts of the war. That's what you're here about, right? I don't need a horse. No, dummy. The war. You a deserter? You look scared. What? No, I'm... Why would you think that? Some men's eyes. They got a little bunny in them. Yours do. Hopping around. Maybe not always. But right now, something's got you scared out of your mind. We're going to lose the war. No one knows how to stop Sandrak and... I'm afraid of what comes after. You should be. What he's done to Saren, to Kelthus, he wins. That's what he'll do to everyone. So how's he doing it? Snuffing out the fonts. You know about that? Kid, I got scry stones in every damn corner of Avia. You start seeing ley lines winking out in all the wrong places, gives you pause. If I had to guess, the world's poorer by about three fonts. Three? He got to another one? Oh, yeah. As soon as the font in Rasharn went dark, he must have beelined for the one at Kelthus. His occupation would have made it easy pickings. They're not really gone. Sandrax absorbed their power using some kind of artifact of Aristea. A binding stone. A throtocol. That's why I'm here. The Immortals believe you're the only one that might know what the stone really is. So, uh... Kirkin still hate me? I've heard she's not a big fan of yours, but, I mean, she's never mentioned you to me. Well, you gotta be new then. No, I've been her student for five years now. Oh, well, she must be working up to it. This binding stone of yours looked like this otherwise innocent bit of business, yeah? Yeah. It's that bad? Walk with me. Easier just to show you. Calm your tits. Won't hurt none. Promise. How are you doing this? With Panache? It's called a mind walk. Trick I picked up in Rashar back in the day. This is Rasharnian magic? What about it? Some of the most elegant and creative Magni alive. No, don't let King Dipshit and his Confederates spoil a barrel. Let me show you some history. This is Avium in the time of Aristea. A thousand years and some change ago. The wound. It's 
small. Yep. Just a teensy thing back then. We Magna hadn't gone buck wild yet. Aristea brought out the worst in us, and it's all because of this thing. A binding stone. They used it to commune with the fonts. And some idiot decided to use it to control them instead. Let's just say things got out of hand. Sandrax doing the same damn thing. History loves the sequel. What are we looking at here? The place they built the binding stone. Called a shrine forge. Suspected somewhere in eastern Orman. You've got to give me something better than that. What if I could, son? Orman's a damn big place. And it doesn't help that it blew itself up some 20 odd years ago. Now, unless you got more questions, we can head back. That's the big secret of how Aristea fell. Just one more casualty of the Ever War. Lure of the Binding Stone was too much. We see magic, Jack. We eventually get greedy. Can't help ourselves but to sink down to our basest nature. Even the mighty Aristea could only keep its head up for a year or two. A year or two? Their ruins are everywhere, a whole cities of them. And they were way more advanced than ours. That can't be right. Aristea, the bastion of high learning and magical ingenuity, capable of miracles uncountable, their magna demigods among men. Yeah, that what you're talking about? Well... Don't know what to tell you, kid. Getting too close to magic turns us all dead stupid. It's like the Everwar is our natural state of in, despite everything you've been told. Aristea was just a blip. When the Aristea used the Binding Stone to commune with the fonts, what happened? They all about turned into little penisons in a manner of days. Spread their new magic know-how like brush fire until they were pulling cities out of the ground like it was nothing. Bunch of idiots. Who cares that it was causing the wound to grow at an exponential rate? Oh, they'd fix that later. Fix it later. <laughs> we haven't changed. Not one inch. I need to get back to the Palathon. Tell them what I found out. Fair enough. Wait a minute. You feel that? Feel what? Someone's in here with us. Hold on. Stay out of my way, Jack. Get down, kid! Ah! No! Son of a bitch! I'm not leaving you here. I'm done for, kid. She was in her mind. She gets away, Sandrak will know y'all are gonna go after the Shrine Forge. Gotta catch her.
Jack. Come on. She's over there. Please don't be you. How are you alive? No, don't. Why didn't you try to find me? Don't do that. Do what? Ask me a question you won't accept the answer to. How can you be with them? That's the one. I can't believe it. Soldier. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here, sir. I, um, I, I found out the Binding Stone was created in a shrine fort somewhere in eastern Oromen. No exact location, but it's a start. Bad news is, I think Daddy has died helping us find that out. I'm sorry, sir. I know you two were close. Don't blame yourself. I, uh, I had a tail. Sandrak will know we're coming for the Shrine Forge. That just means we'll come heavy. Return to the Palathon for mission planning.
I see how it is. You're not going to even ask if I'm okay, or explain why my bloody face got pulled through a Farkle stone, or how you're evidently pals with an Alori now. Buddy, since I set out on this mission, I've had my politics questioned, my pants criticized, told my eyes were full of bunnies, and... And what? Oh, it's... nothing. It's... just been a lot, you know? We'll catch up when I get back. Insane. The surface of Eastern Oriman is an endless desert. We'll never find the Shrine Forge this way. I'll switch back to the islands just above the Tempest Lair. The conquering hero returns. Hey, hero. See if you can make out anything but sand. Really with this? Already? Why are we looking at sand? Thaddeus gave me the history of Sandrak's Binding Stone. As you say, sir, it's some real end of time shit. The Aristea couldn't survive it, so our chances are on the wrong side of zero. Before he died, Thaddeus told me that the Shrine Forge used to create this Binding Stone was... Under all that sand. Maybe. He didn't specify whether it was on the surface, which is completely blasted by magical fallout, or the islands above, which stretch out forever west. Wait a second. Did you say Thaddeus died? Yeah. Um... The Hand of Sandrak was following me, had a team of Nightblades with her, and... and... What matters now is that we have a location for a location. And that's better than yesterday. We find this Shrine Forge, we're one step closer to finding some weakness in Sandrak's hold over the Binding Stone. I'll break out our scrying records on Rasharnian troop movements in Oriman within the last year. You know, they say one after effect of being inside a massive volcano is dehydration. I'm just tired. Get some rest. Narrowing down this search to anything actionable is likely to take all night. I might have an idea on how to shorten that. This was extraordinary work, Initiate. Thank you, sir. Jack, hold up! Zendara's right. You do the Immortals proud, my friend. And it's great to see you back in one piece after that whole adventure. Thanks, Dev. It's good to see you too. Just now, when you were telling us about Thaddeus, I, I noticed something might have been distracting you. Really? Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what you mean. Your face at one point. It was like you'd seen a ghost. Forgive me for prying. Not sure what you saw, Dev. But like I said, I'm just tired. Of course you are. All right. I'll see you. But if something was on your mind... Dev? Forgive me. You're really very sleepy, and evidently I saw something I didn't. Also, I'm so very sorry if I embarrassed you in front of your Elori friend. Is friend the right word? I know I embarrassed myself. His name's Rook. But one thing at a time, Devin. I gotta head out. I haven't forgotten. I still owe you a conversation about Sandrak having been an immortal. But finding the Shrine Forge is priority one right now. You heard the Grand Magnus. Return to quarters, get some rest. Is alive. What? What am I supposed to do with that?
were you even alive? Story for another day. It's the mind walk, isn't it? The spell went crazy, and now you and I can do this. I think so. How much can you see? Nothing, really. I see you, and the rest is just colors that can't hold their shape. I can only hear you, too. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't spy on you or sneak into your war room. No, no, it's not that. I kind of just wanted you to see this room. The one they gave me, it's, I mean, it's crazy awesome. Super big. When you look glum like that, it reminds me of when the Upbridge gang stole your shoes. <laughs> Don't. Don't bring up Saren. Not like that. Tell me, have you ever seen the color Salamine? It only exists in Rashan. It's one of the first things I noticed when they took me here. Just stop, Luna. Rashan doesn't have its own colors. But it really does. Come visit me. You'll see. <laughs> How can you even ask me that? Because I miss my best friend. I want you to see what I've done here, who I am now. I have that farm I always used to talk about. Can you believe Rasharn it? Sharn almost killed you, Luna. I, I thought they did. For years. I, I thought you were dead. It's like when you nap too long out in the sun. When you open your eyes, everything's kind of blue, but all mixed in. Imagine that, and put a pearl inside. That's what the color Salomon looks like. You don't get it, do you, Jack? All you are is angry. I'm trying my best not to get angry. Angry that the next time we see each other, one of us is going to kill the other. I just wanted us to talk and forget about that for a minute or two. Luna, wait! Shine, friend. Kirka needs everyone in the war chamber. Did we find the Shrine Forge? We might be close. I brought in a specialist to help crack the case. A specialist in Shrine Forges? No. In Oriman. Are they named Kenzie? Up and at him, sleepyhead! I was just taking Kenzie here to meet Zendara. I predict they'll get along famously, don't you? Uh, wait, 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 not yet. Wait for me.
Can you believe it? The anarchist has set aside her disgust of military institutions long enough to help us out. Oh, no. <laughs> There's still plenty of disgust. Would you two cut it out? They're waiting for us. Now, Kenzie, I appreciate our verbal fencing about the rabble's pillow-fisted outrage against the gentry, but the very large one there? She's actual royalty, so maybe not so much. Maybe none. Hmm? Look, I'm here because I want the Rasharnians out of my home, not to make nice with some princess that thinks she... Oh, my... I see. So it's all eat the rich until someone gets the vapors. Welcome to the Palathon, Kenzie of the Sky Tribes of Oramin. The Kingdom of Lucium is grateful for any help that you can give us. You bet. Are you scrying the entirety of Oramin at the same time? You'd need hundreds of scrying constructs to pull this off. Thousands. No wonder the rest of the kingdoms think Lucians are always lurking in the shadows. The amount of border alliance and fractions here is... <sighs> even for wartime. Yep, it really is an impressive feat of modern arcano engineering, but moving right along... You mispronounced invasive. Hm. When's the last time Oramon even pretended to be at wartime? <sighs> You're looking at her. It's okay, Zendara. Kenzie's right. I'll submit a formal apology to Oramon's High Council the next time they convene at Nosea. In case you hadn't heard, Sandrak destroyed Nosea, so she's being... I heard. Oh, so you did catch the shade. Very good. You're looking in the Tempest Slayer? That's the wrong place. Those islands are the newer ones. You gotta look underneath, where the first islands were dislodged. We checked. There are no Aristean ruins on the surface of those. Who said anything about the surface? The Aristea love an underground temple. Flip it. Shitting me. See? I did have a good idea. Bringing her in, I mean. Ley lines are too unstable in that storm. And they will have powered down their portals. There's only one way we say hello. Get prepped for a combat drop. You heard the Grand Magnus. Grab your gear and head to the airship docks. I'll tell Cap. In Selco, it's go time and to have his Lance of Strikers ready. So, what should I do? Shall we save you a seat on the assault craft? <laughs> no, still not my war. Ah, well, um, there's a very nice gift shop on level 10. Nope, level 10 disappeared again. It keeps overlapping with that northeastern change wind from Myopole, takes a vacation whenever it does. Well, that's too bad. You could have gotten your own Immortals replica badge, Kenzie. Hold up, Iopole the moon, Iopole? Our stewards are looking into it. Gotta find Soko. Captain, is our airship ready for launch to Oramon? Just give the word, sir. Her hull's watered against the worst the Tempest Layer can throw at us. We'll swing you in for a clean drop to the Shrine Forge. No time to lose. Let's go.
recognize this place. Daddy has showed it to me. There's gotta be some kind of theoretical making machine thing here. Probably inside. And this machine will show us a weakness to the Binding Stone? In theory. So we don't know what to do once we're inside. I figured we'd improvise. You mean you would improvise? That entrance is blocked by a triarch board. You're the only one going in. Lucky I'm here, sir. I'll get the portals powered back up for a return trip. Figure out how to destroy the Binding Stone, and let's get out of here.
important. Talking about someone else, you're mistaking me for a guy named Sandrak, which frankly feels a little creepy. But anyway, I want to destroy the Binding Stone. You're not listening. I don't have a Binding Stone or a Mark. I can't surrender what I don't have. I already told you, I'm not... Wait. You can give me the same mark as Sandra. Control it, or destroy it. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. You don't win in ever war. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. It's mastery over the funks means I can end the war. Then I choose to end the war. Give me the mark to control the Binding Stone. I guess. That's what disobeying orders feels like. Not so good.
figure it out? Please say yes. Yeah, we're uh, we're good to go. With this, I can destroy the Binding Stone. We just have to get close enough to Sandrak. How do you propose we do that when we don't even know where he is? This mark gives me a connection to the Binding Stone. I can feel where it is. I can, I can feel where Sandrak is. He's moving east, towards the deep near. There's a font in the ocean. Sounds like it. All right, pack it in. We're leaving soon. What's the place, sir? Devin and I will stay here at the Shrine Forge for a bit. See if we can find anything else of interest. And rig it to blow when the Rashanians return. You need to get back to the Palathon and brief Kirken. She'll figure out our next steps. But when you use that mark to destroy the Binding Stone, I want to be there. I want to see Sandrak's face when you just crumble it in his hand. There's no way he'll see it coming. You don't have to tell me twice, sir. All right. That'll be all, Initiate. Now head back to the Palathon. Sir, I'm back at the Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid. <laughs>